Hi, this is Brandon from Audio Video Unlimited and welcome to another AVU Tech Tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yamaha RS300. So this is the back of the Yamaha RS300 receiver and I want you to notice that this receiver is a two-channel audio receiver. It's not a uh, home theater receiver and, and the most noticeable difference is that there's no HDMI ports back here. There's no support for any kind of video pass-through. This is a pure audiophile receiver. So if you're building yourself a nice home stereo system, this is the receiver and a bit of amplification that you might want to start off with. Now the RS300 is the introductory to the line, which means that its wattage output is a little bit lower. And um, what that means is instead of having you know, all the power you need to drive big towers, this thing is more bookshelves. So 50 watts per channel, left and right, and you'll notice that the, the audio out back here is set up left and right, and then there is a, there's a subwoofer out as well so that you can get those nice low notes in your sound. And then you've got all of your um, input that you'd need. This is for like, uh, I think it says tape, and CD, and phono, and you know anything you might want to input, plus there is provisions for the Yamaha dock. Uh, which allows you to hook up your mp3 player through this and uh, there's a, a powered dock where you'll recharge and there's also a dock that is uh, wireless so you put a little module on the bottom of your ipod iphone or and you can sort of wander around your house and it streams the music without any loss now a lot of units rely on like built-in bluetooth but what a lot of people don't realize is that bluetooth down samples your music pretty severely so if you're buying something like this where you're looking for really great sound quality and then you stream bluetooth with it it messes with your songs and they aren't going to sound good anyways but let's spin this around because the other side is actually the more fun side to look at on this so this is the front of the Yamaha RS300 and I think this is easily the most beautiful receiver we have downstairs at this time. Um, you got these beautiful um, flat knobs up front here and they, they do turn, they're not sliders, but they're just so minimally designed and they feel so good. They're like they're nice and wide so you can sort of grab them and then tune them to where you just, just love them. And, uh, and they've got this power switch that kind of clicks and stays down or pops out. So out, off, in, on. And it, it just feels very visceral to sort of click it into place and you know, the whole system comes alive. And you've got your big power knob here or you've got your channel selector which is sort of graduated. It kind of turns and then clicks into place, turns and then clicks into place. It's just a very pleasing thing to put your hands on. And because it's such a simple design, um, even though it is the introductory model to its line, I think it's actually the most beautiful. It's got the least amount of extra controls on it. This thing is just, just wants to help you play some music, you know? It just wants to sound good and look good on your shelf. Um, if I was building an introductory level system, a couple of bookshelf speakers, just wanted to listen to my tunes in my dorm or my apartment, the 50 watts that this thing outputs per channel is going to be more than enough and then this beautiful faceplate, I mean, this is an easy choice for me. I would, I would pick one of these up in a heartbeat, throw it on my shelf, throw some speakers next to it, um, maybe put a, a record player. I'd love to hook up a record player to this. I think the aesthetic is just, it's kind of got that retro feel to it. It would be really beautiful. The Yamaha RS300 has um, plenty of power to drive some bookshelves, not quite enough to drive some big towers. I actually use a slightly larger version of this receiver to drive the uh, larger towers that I've been reviewing um, in the last few uh, written reviews. Uh, this one uh, wouldn't do that. 50 watts is really limiting you to the bookshelves, but uh, the sound that comes out of these is excellent. Uh, you will not be disappointed with the sound quality that you get from these Yamaha units, and uh, the build quality is, is rather nice as well. Like I say, I love the design of this thing. It seems to be very solid. It has the art wedge base, which um, min minimizes vibration and of course they're using all premium components in it so uh, so far we haven't had any letdowns with these units in the store um, definitely a recommend for somebody who is getting started into two-channel audio and thinking of maybe pursuing a bit more uh, musical finesse in their system this is a step up from your you know pre-packaged home stereo systems right well, I think that pretty much covers it for the Yamaha RS300 two-channel audio receiver. We are in the time of year when all kinds of new product is being released, so I look forward to bringing you another AVU tutorial in a couple of weeks with some hopefully very fresh new product.